Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot La Mode and today on Hot La Mode we are going to be doing a reaction to another seven days, seven looks experience. Now this one is from Naomi Watanabe. She is from my understanding one of Japan's most well-known personalities, performers, entertainers, comedians, fashion icons, legends, stars. I'm excited about this. The way that Naomi dresses, the way that she utilizes clothes to fit her body, which is not sort of the model standard. I like seeing all different sort of styles. The Anne Nakamura episode that we did a while ago was like super intriguing to me. I don't really know all that much about Japanese style and dressing for the everyday person in Japan, so I'm intrigued to see how it differs from the Americans. But without further ado, I want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is Karma. Karma is an app and Google Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or coupon code. As you'll see in today's video, it is very difficult to find clothing that fits not only your body, but also your style. And it's a process getting through all different brands, retailers, stores, websites to find the perfect thing for you. But thanks to Karma, that process can be streamlined as it allows me to have all the pieces my heart desires saved in one easy peasy place and it also allows me to organize my items by category too. Sometimes I'm shopping around at secondhand luxury retailers and I find that perfect coat for me for the winter because I don't want to wear a puffer all the time or I find a Prada shirt from a fall 1996 collection that I just need to keep my tabs on because I want to buy it even though I probably shouldn't but I want to and I can just buy or I can win a shop all in one place with Karma which you can download by clicking on the link in my description box below. Now after a long stay with my parents during COVID, I am finally moving, but I still love this style of bookshelf and wanted a new set for my new place, and after seeing a 20% off discount thanks to Karma at Crate and Barrel, I had to buy them. Now Karma is super easy to download, you can just make an account and click on that deep blue circle in the menu and add that extension to your Google Chrome, and then it follows you everywhere you go, it's really nice, it's like a comforting friend. You then can go on hundreds of websites and save any of your items to Karma. Now listen, you can go through Karma to find different websites that they support, but also you can just go on the websites and little blue right side will pop up there. It's easy. For all of you luxury fashion lovers, Essence and Matches Fashion, as well as the Real Real and eBay for vintage lovers, all coexist in one beautiful place. Listen, even if you're a Sheener, Fashion Nova, H&M, Zara, it's there too. We won't judge you. And it's always great when you go on Karma's website and search through all the different brands and just sort of see one where you're like, oh, I didn't know you would be here, hi. Then you'll get notifications about when the items that you saved go on sale or come back in stock via email or mobile push notification. Karma has a special feature on Google Chrome desktops that scans the web for coupon codes and will apply them automatically at checkout to help you save money. They even launched a cashback feature which allows you to earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retailers. I'm going to use my 1% cash back at Design Within Reach because I am trying to keep within a budget for this new place and it's gonna be a really tight budget. But with the help of Karma, I think I can make it through. And also like so far, evidently I've saved money. So we're on the right track, Bull. So again, click the link in my description box below to download Karma. And with that, let's get into the rest of the video. Also just want to say apologies for the lighting and also the setup. It's currently New York Fashion Week, so and moving and grooving, and this is just the, the setup situation, unfortunately. So I already love this video. I'm obsessed with her. The posing, iconic. I feel like I see Marc Jacobs moments already, which Naomi works with. Wait, the shoes. The shoes, the shoes, the shoes, the shoes, the shoes. The shoes. Pretty positive we're called like one tooth tenga getu sandals. I will say that my one singular reference for these is Princess Mononoke by Hayao Miyazaki. And there's a guy and he like runs in them. And I thought to myself like, wow, I would like to be like that when I grow up. I think it's like my homosexual fascination with heels and also like platforms and anything that like lifts you up. That makes me obsessed with these. Stun. Tokyo to New York. Ooh. Okay, single tooth Gata sandals, we love, iconic. I'm like obsessed with a little jumpsuit moment going on too. Like I feel like it's a boiler suit and those were like having their moment for a little hot sec. So chic. Oh, with a little panda, the embroidery in the denim with the quilting. This is New Yorker. <laughs> right? <laughs> Skateboard, Netcap, and Beyonce, Jay-Z. 
She's not wrong. There's nothing here that's false currently. Be much of a New York and Kitaki, the make some of the photo guard, Auntie, the photo that's me, ah, present to secret the black cold and mode. That can also be called. Yeah, I really love the boiler suit because I feel like it's in a light fabric where I feel like a lot of the times boiler suits can be kind of heavy and like thick and stiff if they're like actually vintage, true boiler suits used for like work. With boilers, whereas I feel like this sort of cottony moment or like a light sort of fabric gives it much more of like a wearable summer vibe. Although like nothing is wearable in New York in the summer because it's so humid, but like public indecency is not allowed. Although sometimes it slips through the cracks in certain situations. I appreciate this. I feel like this is fun. I want to know what the shoes are too. Oh, toga. Okay, I've heard of toga. I like the sandal situation. Okay, so this is the end of look one. I am obsessed with shoe choices. I think the boiler suit is great. I didn't love the denim jacket over top, but like I don't really know the whole like Tokyo situation, like what you're supposed to wear, what you're not supposed to wear, what's like usual, what's casual. So to each their own, and also like Japanese plus denim equals euphoria, not the TV show, but like a state of euphoria. So. I'm allowing it. Okay, choose day. Let's get into it. Ooh, check a board. With the ripped jeans or ripped pants and the big platforms. I did know that she is a designer. I believe that she either had or still has her own brand, which is for plus size women. I know that in Japan there is a lot of like traditional body types that is sort of wrapped up into like the culture. I mean, it's very similar here in the United States and I think across. All of the West. And so it's intriguing to see that like Naomi is so mainstream in Japan and sort of defies those sort of traditional body types. And so, on top of that, the fact that like this is from her own brand, she's designing things is lovely. I feel like with the pants, the fact that the rips are in this like pink, the threads you can see are pink, I feel like that adds a little bit of a twist on what we normally think about when we think of ripped. Clothing, so I'm appreciating that. Oh, they are jeans. Okay. True.。I love that. I think that's amazing, and that's honestly, I think the best thing about the fashion industry and like the garment industry sort of expanding is their different niches for. For different groups of people, and I think it's very necessary. And also, you know, as much as I love talking about luxury and all of these sort of things and runways and all that, it's not really the end all be all of clothing. It's just one niche in reality. There, there's so many different elements. So I'm happy to hear that. And we saw that there was a gap in the market for her. And so she also extended it to a bunch of other people, which is great. Oh, she does live in New York, I believe. Ah, I love the top, the checkerboard, and the pink and the brown. Oh, okay. Nice that they have an elastic waistband, but they're not like jeggings. You know what I mean? I feel like oftentimes with denim, the elastic waistband is more so skin tight, and it's very sort of like active wear sort of styles. It's a little bit like street weary in like a modern sense, where it's like mainstream and just sort of like oh, you're throwing on clothes just to whatever. Whereas I feel like this is like fashionable denim with an elastic waistband, which we don't really see. Yeah, love the shoes. Love, love a platform. Love a platform. Yeah. Aww. Add to lunch look, solid. Sold. Ooh. Okay, this is a look. This is a moment. Oh, the jacket's area, I can tell from the pockets. Because it's area, and also, literally, the day before I filmed this, I went to see the Spring 2022 collection. It was part couture, part ready to wear. It was sort of all mixed in together. But there are gowns that I think are part of the couture that have these, like, emphasized and exaggerated sort of hips. And I feel like that's kind of why we're seeing this sort of hip moment here. If you can see sort of in the silhouette, it really, they jut out. A lot more than I think you normally would have with a jacket. I think that's kind of where we're going here, which I love. It's a gorge coat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, love, love a back cut out. <laughs> when you look at it from the back, it almost has like a 18th century French court situation going on, in my opinion. I don't know if it's, maybe it's more like robe l'anglaise, which was sort of like a more casual version of the robe a la française. Like the robe a la française was like satin and big and like full of ornamentation, whereas the robe a l'anglaise, which was based in the UK rather than 
France was a lot more sort of casual and I feel like there was a lot of stripes going on there was a lot of sort of plaids and it just has a very dangerous liaisons look from the back and I'm kind of obsessed <laughs> yeah the bag is cute this Oh, uh, oak perny. Okay, cute. Little eggy sort of shape. <laughs> With the feathers at the hem. And the shoes. Yeah, those are beautiful. They're like very 1960s, which is fun. With the feathers, it adds. Yeah. Absolutely, Naomi. 100% correct. It is very New Yorker. I feel like she's going to low key from the front, go to a lunch, and then from the back, she's literally like, I'm remaking Dangerous Liaisons, but in 2022, and I'm sold. Okay, Thursday. Oh, yeah. This is like the kawaii experience. This is what we need, this is what we want, this is what we desire. That's a good first impression. Yeah, I got it. The hat is satin. Okay, Vacare is a New York based brand. I love the fact that it's a satin hat that's sort of all like puffed together. It has little ties, it's beautiful, it's chic, it's fun. It's in a glorious fabric, sold. Yeah, the dress is beautiful. The green with the pink. <laughs> it's like a bonnet. I feel like it's probably from Dover Street in New York. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. I've never heard of Lazy Oaf, but it's very chic, very cute. Print is good. The color use is good. The shoes are great. Oh, little Doc Martens. <laughs> I am impressed, and it is unforgettable. No, 100%. I think this is a great look. Super fun. I feel like, again, very New York. You could wear this anywhere, anytime. Not right now. It's like snowing. I'm obsessed with that dress. Lazy Oaf. I'm checking it out. Friday, we are here. <gasps> Stop. This is so cute. Oh, I love that. Oh, Delia's like Delia's Delia's? Okay. She's pushing for the comeback. We love to see it. No, that's cute. Uh, if that's what Delia's is doing, I need to evidently walk in to a mall. A Gucci little bamboo bag. But I like this one a lot because I feel like it has a very 1960s sort of pop art modernist print motif situation going on. I feel like this is like Werner Panton does Gucci and I'm into it. Yeah, it's a great bag. And unless you like know about the bamboo handle and all that from Gucci, like that's a great bag because it doesn't scream Gucci. The shoes, cute. Love with the little so fur, I'm sure. The sandal. Oh, Marc Jacobs heaven? Heaven. So that you let, yeah, exactly. Do you want to go to heaven? Oh, okay. Let's get started. I'm obsessed with her. Oh,ですね。バラのピアスは私も大好きなブランドで日本にあるポーズっていうブランドなんだけど、もうね、お洋服も超可愛い。お洋服も可愛いんだけど、またピアスがとんでもなく可愛いのよ。リナデートは。very cute. Sold on the dinner date look. I would be honored. Okay, Saturday for the girls. Hungover vibes. House party. Okay. House party moments. This is like a Brooklyn house party. Most definitely. Like a hipster house party. That's that's where you're going. Love the dress too. Very cute. The shirt I get. I do. I understand the vibe. I feel like the dad cotton shirt Cuban sort of style has like come back in for a summer moment. I enjoy wearing them 100%. So I get it. I just think the print maybe is like a little bit much, but also I feel like that's Naomi's vibe. So like, I'm here for it. I can appreciate it from a distance. Yeah. <laughs> the dress is really good. The prints on those lazy oak dresses are fantastic. <laughs> She's great. I'm obsessed with her. This is what I want in my life. This is what the Vogue videos need to be. 
is like, I stain this and I'm still wearing it. I literally, I have stained a small one right here. The shoes are Loewe, that makes sense. Pretty positive that you can also have like little socks that go with them. I know this because I have seen Brian Boy wear them in real life and they have little socks. So again, like this flat form situation makes sense. This feels very Jonathan Anderson for Loewe. It's like weird and quirky. And at the same time I say, I would like it. I wish I was that girl. Okay, okay. A little, a little bucket hat and a faux fur. <laughs> oh my god. She wears it. That's what's important. Listen, this is not necessarily like the look I would choose, but I understand where we're going. There's like no fear of color. There's no fear of print. There's no fear of, you know, juxtaposition. I'm happy about it. The hat matches the shoes. The shoes and the hat match the white of the motif of the dress. I'm sold on it. Okay, Sunday, I'm like sad that this is ending, honestly, because like... <gasps> Stop. She literally... I'm obsessed with her. I would die for her. That dress is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't need anything else. Like, fashion week is over. Fashion month is done. Like, we're fine. This is it. She's so cute. I love that dress. I love Vicara. It's not Marc Jacobs. Other people are also making this dress. Good. <sighs> so nice to see things like this not on the runway too. Like it's nice to see it when somebody's actually wearing it and you can see like the layers and the frills and models and like skulking past you so quickly. It's like nice to see these things in real time with real movement. The bow, the sleeves, the big puffed sleeves are amazing. The way that it creates a bib sort of a frills. <laughs> yeah, this makes sense. <laughs> oh, I love the bow. Oh, love, love my project, love Melissa. Melissa, if you guys do not know, I believe is it's Brazilian. It's a Brazilian brand. And they essentially do collaborations with a bunch of different designers. I know that they most recently did the Jean-Paul Gaultier Haute Couture shoes because Glenn Martins, who does Y Project, who these specific shoes are a collaboration with, did a collection for Jean-Paul Gaultier. So this all makes sense. And it's cool also, I really love Melissa because not only do they work with like established brands, but also I believe it's once a year, they work with a small young designer to sort of help create a shoe. And then whoever wins the competition gets their shoe produced, which is super chic, super fun. So it's fun that it's not just brands that are doing these collaborations. It's also up and coming talents who then can put this on their resume, their CVs, all that sort of stuff and say like, I've produced a shoe. So shout out Melissa and shout out Y Project. Mila Moore. She's dainty. Yeah, I'm obsessed with that. I would die for this. This is the look. This is the look. <laughs> Naomi, I would die for you. Thank you for this. But I got those eyes. I'm obsessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was so fun. I loved every second of that. Wow. Okay, so I would say out of all of the looks, my favorite has to go to the pink Vaquera dress with the bow. Very cute, very chic. First day look, the Tokyo to New York transition was like not my favorite. There were so many other good ones. So, you know, you're like splitting hairs there. But honestly, I think this was actually a very good video. Very happy with it. I am intrigued. I was not disappointed. I was amazed. Enjoyed the shit out of it. So again, I want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is Karma. Thank you again for sponsoring and check that link in the description box below. I will see you guys in the next video and TTYL.